Brooklyn pastor has been sentenced to nine years in prison for fraud. You may remember two years ago, Bishop Lamore Whitehead was robbed at gunpoint during Sunday service. Bishop Lamore Whitehead's story is a complex one marked by significant legal and ethical controversies. Bishop Lamore Whitehead was arrested and convicted on 17 counts, including theft and weapons possession. He served time in prison as a result of these charges. After his release from prison, Whitehead established a church where he became a prominent preacher of the prosperity gospel. This theological belief emphasizes that financial blessing and physical well-being are always the will of God for devout Christians, with faith, positive speech, and donations to religious causes being channels to achieve these blessings. Yo. Yo. All right, right, right. When I laid down on the floor, when the young man came, the young men came and put the gun to my back, as y'all see on the video, they, uh, you know, took my watch, took my jewelry, took my bishop's ring, and then they took my bishop's cross. Whitehead gained significant attention after a video of a robbery at his church went viral. During a live stream service, armed robbers entered the church and stole jewelry from Whitehead and his wife, an event that sparked widespread media coverage. Following the robbery, Whitehead faced accusations from some quarters that he had staged the incident. Critics suggested that the robbery might have been a publicity stunt, though there has been no conclusive evidence to support these claims. Whitehead has been criticized for flaunting his wealth while preaching to a congregation that includes many struggling parishioners. His lifestyle, which includes expensive clothing, jewelry, and luxury vehicles, has been seen as contradictory to the teachings of humility and modesty often associated with Christian leadership. Whitehead funded his lavish lifestyle through his church activities. He encouraged his congregation to participate in activities like bidding on empty envelopes, which has been criticized as a manipulative tactic to extract money from his followers. Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. We've just covered the sentencing of Lamore Whitehead, the famous Bling, Bling Bishop, who promised to be able to get Eric Adams to do anything. Well, he got 108 months. That's nine long years. And the judge said, some congregants say you help them, but uh, your general uh, lack of contrition, lack of honesty, lack of integrity requires the nine-year sentence. His lawyer, Don Florio, said he can't afford, at least through them, to appeal right now, but they're going to file a notice of appeal. She wants Otisville. She asked for release pending appeal. This was denied. Um, I was waiting out here for Don Florio because some footage when the case began of her and Lamore Whitehead trying to get down to the uh, the garage on Worth Street. It was a badly planned exit. Um, there's some long footage that you can find online, but that's it for now. Lamore Whitehead, 108 months, good friend of Eric Adams. Of course, this was widely disclaimed by the prosecutor saying he never had an in with Eric Adams. It's reported that there is a grand jury on that topic, and Inner City Press will remain on the case, Inner City Press, at the Southern District of New York. In addition to the robbery incident, Whitehead has faced several lawsuits and legal troubles related to his financial dealings. These include accusations of fraud and financial mismanagement, further tarnishing his public image. Whitehead has also been subject to federal fraud charges, adding to the legal challenges he faces. These charges have brought increased scrutiny to his financial practices and the way he runs his ministry. Whitehead has been accused of scamming a woman out of a significant amount of money. Reports suggest that he promised to use the funds to help her with a financial matter, but instead, he allegedly used the money for his personal expenses. In another incident, Whitehead was accused of extorting money from a businessman. He allegedly leveraged his position and influence to pressure the businessman into giving him money under dubious circumstances. These allegations, along with his other legal troubles, have severely impacted Whitehead's reputation. They highlight ongoing concerns about the ethical conduct of some religious leaders, particularly those who preach the prosperity gospel. Such incidents raise critical questions about the accountability and transparency of financial dealings within religious institutions. It's been an emotional roller coaster for the past four years. Rashid Anderson relieved tonight following the conviction of Lamore Whitehead, better known as the Blink Bishop for his lavish lifestyle.
A Manhattan federal jury today finding Whitehead guilty of defrauding a parishioner and trying to extort a businessman. It's been a long time coming, and we're very happy to see that the verdict was guilty today. Rashid's mother, Pauline Anderson, invested $90,000 of her retirement savings with Whitehead. Prosecutors said he spent the money on luxury goods at Louis Vuitton and Foot Locker and even used Anderson's money to make his car payments. Rashid testified during the trial. You and your mother trusted this guy. Yeah, we trusted him a lot. Whitehead, no stranger to headlines. In July of 2022, he was robbed at gunpoint while delivering a sermon in Brooklyn. The million-dollar jewelry heist caught on his church's live stream. This was the guy that put the gun, have a gun pointed just like this, in my wife's face, point it, just like this, in my eight-month-old baby's face, and then had the gun to the back of my head as he ripped off my jury. Whitehead not yet publicly commenting on his conviction, which also includes charges that he tried to force a Bronx businessman to lend him $500,000 while promising access to Mayor Adams. Whitehead claimed he knows the mayor on a personal level. The bishop going to social media after his arrest in December 2022. Just because you was arrested doesn't make you guilty. Jurors found Whitehead guilty of wire fraud, lying to the FBI, and attempted extortion. The trial lasting two weeks. Rashid had prayed for today's outcome. I do want to give thanks to God because he was the one that, you know, revealed the truth and I was able to go up there. Everyone was able to go up there and speak their truth. Whitehead's sentencing is scheduled for July 1st. He faces up to 45 years in prison back come on y'all come on back let's get back into this word let's get back into this word amen let's get back into this word amen amen so watch this watch this as y'all coming back let me just get back into my flow the bible says in acts chapter 2 the bible says uh verse 13 it says others mock saying these men are full of new wine i need y'all to really get this understanding and get a clear representation that when you are in the presence of God and people do not understand what's going on, they have to mock you. They have to talk about you. They have to ridicule you. Amen. So listen, trust the process. Trust the process. Amen. Somebody say trust the process. Now I need y'all to turn your Bibles. I need you to turn your Bibles. I need you to turn your Bibles to Joshua chapter six. Come on, somebody. Joshua chapter six. Joshua chapter six. I need y'all to turn your Bibles to Joshua chapter six. Come on, as Instagram, come on back. I'm sorry, y'all, but this is what we got to do right now. Instagram is just, I don't know, they got us on a time limit, but we'll be all right. I got to get right back into it. Amen. Somebody say, Bishop, get right back into it. Somebody say, Bishop, get right back into it. Now I need y'all to type in Joshua chapter six, verse 16. I need y'all to type in Joshua six, uh, Joshua chapter 6, verse 16. Type in Joshua chapter 6, verse 16. Amen. Joshua chapter 6, verse 16. Amen. Come on, type that in. Joshua chapter 6, verse 16. 6 and 16. This narrative raises important questions about the integrity and ethical responsibilities of religious leaders. Whitehead's actions and the nature of his teachings are often scrutinized in the context of their alignment with or deviation from traditional biblical principles. The prosperity gospel itself is a controversial topic within Christian circles, with many arguing that it distorts the teachings of Jesus regarding wealth and material possessions. Bishop Lamore Whitehead's case highlights the complexities and potential pitfalls of religious leadership, particularly when it intersects with issues of wealth, ethics, and legal accountability. His story serves as a focal point for discussions about the responsibilities of church leaders and the impact of the prosperity gospel on congregations.